Welcome back to Sporn Spro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow Griffola frondosa, otherwise known as maitake or hen of the woods mushroom. The first step is to inoculate a jar of sterilized rye grain with 2 milliliters of hen of the woods liquid culture. I'll leave a link in the description to a video I made that will teach you how to make your own sterilized rye grain. It is important that this step is done as sterile as possible, so make sure to use isopropyl alcohol to wipe the injection port and work inside of a still air box or in front of a laminar flow hood. After letting the jar sit on a shelf in a room that is around 78 degrees Fahrenheit for two weeks, you should start to see the mycelium spreading, and it is at this point that the jar is broken up to speed up full colonization. Once the jar recovers and is fully colonized, it is broken up and mixed with sterilized sawdust substrate supplemented with wheat bran. I will also leave a link in the description to a video I made that will teach you how to make this substrate. After the spawn has been mixed in with the substrate, the bag is sealed with an impulse sealer. The bag can now be placed on a shelf in a room that is around 78 degrees Fahrenheit for two months, and lighting does not matter. Once the bags are completely white and fully colonized, you can introduce an LED light above them on the same shelf. If you straighten the top of the filter patch bag up, it will create a humid environment for the hen of the woods to start growing. You can then cut the top of the filter patch bag and place it inside of a fruiting chamber to finish growing. I will also leave a link in the description to a video that will show you how to build this fruiting chamber. You can also cut the side of the block and the mushrooms will grow from that cut. They will fruit well in 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit and around 85% humidity. After putting these blocks inside of the fruiting chamber, the growth was prolific and harvest was within two weeks. I've tried to grow several different strains of hen of the woods, but this wild clone from Michigan is the only one that I could get to fruit. If you've also been looking for a fruiting strain, you can find this one at sporeandsprout.com. And that's all there is to it. I hope this video was helpful if you're trying to grow hen of the woods. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.